Good morning. I am teaching Granny Sunday School, and this morning I've got um, so, <laughs> I've got um, Ned's class too because we just decided to stay together because it was just Bill because Laney's not feeling well this morning. And I'm going to teach something probably everybody may have heard of before, but um, it's important that we talk about it. But what we're going to learn today is Jesus teaches me that I can trust the Word of God. Nehemiah, can you read any of those words? What's that first word? Uh, That's right. Jesus teaches me that... What's that letter, Money? Do you know what that letter is? I. I. I, right. She's going to go to VPK next year. She's going to know all her letters in the August. It's this year, right? Okay, so Lori, what's this say? No, no, oh. the whole thing. Jesus teaches me that I can trust the Word of God. Right. How do we know we can trust the Word of God? What is the Word of God? What is the Word of God? Uh, the Word of God trusted us. Right. We can trust the Word of God. But what is the Word of God we can trust? What is it? What? It's the Bible. It is the, the Word of God is the Bible. It is the Bible. It's what God said. Right, it's the words that God said. But who, is there a person that's also called the Word of God? I'm going to give you a hint, Nehemiah. Jesus. Jesus is the Word of God. So he is the very Word. And he is able to, we can trust him. We can believe in him. So we're going to sing a song. Are you ready? Everybody has to sing. And this is to the tune of Skip, Skip, Skip to Malou. You remember it? Yes, Nehemiah. Jesus is the rock. He is the rock. Maybe Granny will teach you that another lesson. She's doing lots of lessons about Jesus and how we can um, believe in him and how he, what he teaches us. So we're going to sing Skip to My Lou, except we're not going to sing Skip to My Lou. We're going to sing, hear, hear, hear God's word. Hear, hear, hear God's word. Hear, hear, hear God's word. Hear God's word and trust it. Okay, it's not hard. Ready? Hear, hear, hear God's word. Hear, hear, hear God's word. Hear, hear, hear God's word. Hear God's word and trust it. All right, y'all got it? Do you need the things? And then the next one will say, and count on it, believe it, and love it. All right, let's see. Bill, use your long arm and hold that up there. Whee! Can you see it? I can see it. All right, here we go. We're going to start from the beginning. Get your ear. Hear, hear, hear God's word loud. Hear, hear. Hear God's word, hear, hear, hear God's word, hear God's word and trust it. Hear, hear, hear God's word, hear, hear, hear God's word, hear, hear, hear God's word, hear God's word and count on it. I know that's real little down there. And the next one is believe it. Hear, hear, hear God's word, hear, hear, hear God's word, hear, hear, hear God's word, hear God's word and believe it. The next one is love it. Are we ready? And make a heart. Can you make a heart with your hand? Let me see. Let me see your heart, Monty. Let me see your heart. Close. Look at you. Ready? Hold it up. Oh, man. Love it at the end. Ready? Here we go. Hear, hear, hear God's word. Hear, hear, hear God's word. Hear, hear, hear God's word. Hear God's word and love it. Love, 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 love it, love it, love it. Hold your hearts up. Hold your hearts up. Close. Oh, look. Now, I just wanted everybody to know Nala is in with us. She's been without Granny all week. And if you can't tell, she's been really lonely. And so Bill said, let's put her outside. But this is the most people she's seen. Bill's been busy all week long, and all of us have. So she's had very little interaction, and she expects to have it now. So now she's going to go over and sit by my friend, Sister Ashley. Get in there, baby. Or sit down. Lie down. All right, we'll see how she does. If she doesn't do it and Bill puts her out, I will say, you were right, Bill, I was wrong. All right, so we're talking about hearing God's word and believing it. Now, some people in the room that are older are going to know more about some of these things because they've been in different environments than you guys have yet. What's an environment? A place that you can go to be in, and a lot of times if it's an educational environment, like a school, you both have been in schools that are Christian schools, and all the places we've put you, or I've taught you, 
those have taught you that the word of God is true, no matter what. But everybody else in this room at one time or another has been taught that there are some things that when it looks like maybe it doesn't agree with science, we can't really believe God's word. It didn't really say it that way. So I'm talking today about something that people really don't always understand about, and it's dinosaurs. I know Nehemiah loves him some dinosaurs, don't you? Sure does. So, hey Bill, are you with me? Okay. All right. So, D is for dinosaurs, a rhyme book and more. And so, the person who wrote this is in charge of an entire industry called Answers in Genesis. And they start their ministry believing that the Bible is ex very expressly true. And when science says it's not, then we go ahead and believe the Bible. No matter what, because the Bible and science will prove that God's word is true. All right, so here we go. We're going to start from here. Let's get past all the adult pages. Here we go. Ready? Can you guys read the uh, big letters for me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. God made the world. It's plain to see. Can you guys see a picture? Now, this is pretty simple for some of you guys sitting on the couches. You'll be okay. I'll get more difficult. H-I-J-K-L-M-N. Buddy made dinosaurs. And if so, when? Can you see what that's, what's that say, Lori? What's the dinosaur saying? God made me too. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. All right. O-P-Q-R-S-T-U. The Bible has the answer. God's word is true. Look, and we colored that picture, didn't we? Did you guys color that picture that same color? The dinosaur, did you color in purple? What color was your dinosaur? Uh, rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, Ooh. that was a pretty one. What color was your dinosaur? Um, green. Green. What color was yours? Mine was blue with green Wow. Okay. B, W, X, Y, and Z will learn the truth about history. And this, this book um, board, blackboard, says... 25 million years ago. And then there's a question mark. Like, that's confusing. Were you there? And it's talking about he has the Bible open and it's the book of Job. All right, so we're gonna now we're gonna take each letter and we're gonna talk about it. A is for answers from God's holy book. Just open the pages and take a good look. God created the earth, in space it did hang, creation's first day without a big bang. Well, what does that mean? Does anybody have, you heard of the big bang, Gloria? Um, they say that um, two little molecules in her just happened to hit each other and exploded into the world. But, um, and that's how it was formed, oh, how it was created. Oh, but, but just wait, so we'll get into depth. But, but the big bang is a theory which anybody in the room that understands science, science is a theory. It has to be. If it, as science um, takes theories and tries to prove them. Well, it's a theory that at the beginning of time, at the beginning of our world, two molecules or a bunch of molecules collided together and made a big explosion. Now, this says, Earth, warning, the Big Bang is coming. And so they're talking, what's coming? B. B is for Bible. When it says on day two, God made the clean air for me and for you. He divided the waters above and below. Day three comes next, so there we shall go. So on day two of creation, on creation, the first day, God um, said, let there be light. And then there, he started creating things. And so when he did, he divided the air and the space and the waters above it. So there was water and there was some firmament. And so let's see. It says, made by God. It will take only six days. And this person says, why so long? I guess God could have done it immediately if he wanted to. C is for continent, the first dry land, which God raised up by his powerful hand. Then he commanded that all the plants grow. The third day was truly a beautiful show. So if you think about plants, on day three of creation, that's when they were formed. 
Have you ever heard this before, Nehemiah? Yeah, we've done the days of the week of, that God made, right? I can't wait till I'm made, that little dinosaur said. Okay, so plants. What about day four? D is for dinosaur, but you'll have to wait because on day four, other things God did make. Oh, it's not Dr. Seuss, y'all, but it's trying. <laughs> he formed the sun, the stars, and the moon. Are you ready? We'll see those dinosaurs soon. All right, six-day chronicle. Dinosaurs coming soon. So somebody who knows about um, what it takes to grow plants. Hey, Bill, what's it take to grow a plant? On day three, the plants were made. Day four, the moon and the stars and the sun. How did the plants make it from one day to the next? God supplied them with light. Yeah, on day one, God said, let there be light. So light was there, and there was water above the firmament. So they were handled, and it only was one day. Sometimes there's some confusion, and people think, well, maybe it meant a thousand years. No, if God said it was one day, it was a day. Here we go. We can trust God's word. E is for everything that swims in the seas. He also created the great plesiosaur. Do you know what a plesiosaur is? Oh, Mom. Yes, Mom. I do. No, no, I was just... Okay, thank you. All right, read it for me, Laura. May on day five of the birds in the tree. He also created the great plesiosaur. Read, reading God's word, we can know this for sure. I'm a plesiosaur. So plesiosaurs were what the sea creatures were that lived in the water. Giant, giant dinosaurs, but they weren't land dinosaurs. They were ocean or water dinosaurs. They look exactly like the Loch Ness Monster. They do look what we've seen in pictures of the Loch Ness Monster, which makes me think maybe that there's one still living, or maybe a few, and they just haven't caught them. F is for fantastic. That's all we can say. As we see what God made on this, the sixth day, Adam and Eve and the pouched kangaroo, the rest of the animals and dinosaurs too. Look, six-day chronicle dinosaurs made on the sixth day, handmade by God. So there's the kangaroo and there. And then who else did he make on day? All right. So G is for the garden God specially made where Adam and Eve could have always stayed. Living in Eden, a world without sin. What a beautiful place for them to live in. God does great work, doesn't he? So do we remember at the beginning he made man and woman and they lived in a pretty garden? What happened? Do you remember? Uh, uh, cool. They came out and saw the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were in the garden. You're right. All right. H. H is for hungry. It's how we describe a big mm -hmm. dinosaur with his mouth open wide. Adam wasn't scared to watch the dinosaur eat because all the creatures ate plants, not meat. Before the flood, everything ate plants. It didn't have eat other animals. I, I is the letter in the middle of sin to remind us all of the trouble we're in. Dinosaurs, people in the whole universe, because of man's sin, God judged with a curse. So do you remember, and this isn't true because the snake had legs. So I, that's the only thing, sometimes they get things a little wrong. But if I would have, I would have taken my Sharpie and drawn some legs on it because we fixed the bones usually if we have granny, to. Usually a case of granny. So, Right, right. Well, see, maybe his legs are hiding behind the tree. But the Bible does say that the snake did have legs before he was cursed to go on the ground. But do we remember? Somebody give me a real quick explanation of what happened. Did, did Eve go and they were told not to eat anything, right, from the tree of good and evil, a knowledge of good and evil? No. That, right, they weren't supposed to. So when... Eve went over to that tree. Boy, that fruit looked good. And the serpent, who had the devil in him, said, Oh, you can eat it. Don't worry about it. The serpent was the devil because the devil can't shake it. Yes. So what, what happened? She ate on the top of the tree. She ate from a piece of fruit. And then she gave it to who? Whom? Who did she give it to? Who was the only other person? Adam. Adam. And Adam ate it too. And guess what happened? Adam sins. The world is in chaos. Hmm. If you wonder, and this is a big topic, so little ears may not understand it right now, but if you wonder why on earth do bad things happen to good people, the answer goes all the way back to here. When Adam and Eve sinned, it caused this world to no longer be perfect. And now nothing is going to go as easily or as good as it would have been. 
The effects of sin grew worse every day. Flesh became violent, the Bible reveals. Were people and creatures now dinosaur meals? Big barbecue today. Chef's deco. That's kind of funny. You guys see it? So, <laughs> sin caused animals to die. And people, on the day they sinned, God said, you'll surely die. And they did eventually die. K is for knowledge, which made Noah sad. Now, we have skipped ahead. So we talked about Adam and Eve, and now the world got really awful. And then what happened? God told somebody he was going to have to build what? Ark. An ark. And that on that ark, what was he going to put on that ark? Uh, People, his family, and what else? Maybe it's going to tell us. It is. So hold on. We'll see. All right. Because people, the world, oh, K is for knowledge, which made Noah sad. The world would be judged because people were bad. God warned he would send a terrible flood that would cover the world with water and mud. Oh, look. I'm sure it was worse than that. Mm. L is for listen. Noah knew that he should. As soon as God said, make an ark out of wood, take each land animal two by two, your family will be the hardworking crew. So look, Ark, No and Sons, Inc., 4040 Down Poor Road, 400 and cubits, 50 cubits, 45, 75. What's an Ark? You know, they didn't know what an Ark was because they had never had rain. Remember when there was water above the, the land? That was keeping everything well watered, and it was like a greenhouse. And so they, um, also, we didn't have to have rain then. There, a right, mist rose up from the ground. Right, they also laughed because... They when they did. found out what an ark was, they laughed because they were in the middle of the desert. Right. It took a hundred years. Whoo! What's a hundred years? So Granny is how old? Seventy five. Seventy four, right? Seventy four. Four? Three. Three. Yeah, seventy. Come on, Granny, seven. help me out if you're watching. All right, mm. so Granny is turning I have to remember because I'm forty seven and we have to do the math. But anyway, Granny's in her seventies. 30 more years would be 100 years, but when Granny was born, even 30 more years it took to build the ark. Long time. Hmm. All right, not that Granny's old, because she's not. All right, here we go. What's an ark? M is for monster like the great dinosaur. But how could he enter the ark through the door? Well, many dinosaurs are actually quite small. The young ones especially were not very tall. Dinosaurs were very much like our lizards. If lizards lived 100 years or 200 or 300 years, they'd keep growing. They just keep growing. Reptiles can just grow and grow and grow. They shed their skin. They, they are just, they do um, not stop, but their lives are not as long. But dinosaurs had a really long life, so did people back then. Probably my idea. I think Answers in Genesis now has a different idea, but something to do with that um, water canopy that was above the earth. In is for Noah, his wife, and his kin, who with the animals also went in. Dinosaurs outside the ark were all drowned. That's why as fossils, their bones are now found. Have you ever seen a picture of a dinosaur fossil? I think I have one. Look at this. And the dinosaur world has them too. Mm-hmm, dinosaur world has them. Nehemiah's been there. Look, there's some they put together. There's one right there. Yes, Lori's been there. See? Oh, look. You know what that is? That's a paw print. Yeah. Footprint. Yes. I know what kind of dinosaur like. You do? Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to tell me at the end, and I'll see if we can find it in here. Okay. So, I'm going to be a fossil. Look at this dinosaur that's drowning. <laughs> it happened really suddenly. That's why you'll see fossils of actual dinosaurs giving birth. You'll see fossils of dinosaurs, um, I mean, they're not dead yet. They just died really quickly, and that's because the flood happened very quickly. Help! That's sad, isn't it? It's very mm -hmm. sad. In fact, they're probably covered with sediment before they died rather than after. Right, they suffocated, they believe. 
O is for out of the ark they all ran. Okay, so now what they're skipping to is the arts happened, <clears throat> the flood happened. It took almost over a year. They lived in that ark all together. Not an easy thing. But O is for out of the ark they all, they all ran once the land dried. Once the huge vessel came safely to land. Stegosaurs, Lamiosaurs, Notosaurs, and more. I don't know what those are. After the flood, there were dinosaurs galore. So those young dinosaurs that weren't really huge, maybe as big as a giraffe, maybe as big, which are big, or elephant, they get off the ark after about a year. They think a lot of those animals hibernated. The Lord just put them to sleep, but I don't know. P is for pronounced. Are the names hard for you? Iguanodon, Diplodocus. Now how do you do? Brachiosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, and others as well. What happened to them is the story will tell. So what we're telling right now is dinosaurs have been created by God. They went into the flood. They, some, A lot of them died. The water ones stayed alive and it still killed off a lot of them because there was a lot of underwater volcanoes. And then the ones that got off the ark those are the ones that were surviving, that the Lord helped to survive. Iguanodon, Diplodocus, Brachiosaurus, Tyrannosaurus. Hey, dude, this book is a little old because I think the Brachiosaurus didn't make proof that it was actually two. I don't know. I'll we'll have to look that up. So a, a head and a body, they, and they named it, and it was going to be something else. But anyway, somebody will have to look that up for me later. Q is for question. Why can't we anymore look around and even see one dinosaur? They're surely all dead. As simple as that. Try to guess why. Put on your thinking hat. Look, she got a little light bulb up. Look, I'm, what does it say right there? I'm dead. I'm dead. There's pretty one. All right, here we go. R. R is for reasons. Perhaps there are more. After the flood, times were tougher for sure. Volcanoes and storms, then drought and snow. Maybe people killed them. They frightened them so. So right after the ark happened is when we believe the ice age happened. And it happened because all the volcanoes sent bunches of ash. And all the water was just, it came down. The Lord allowed it to come up from the ocean and down from where it was up around the earth. And all that water flooded the earth. And then when everything, the climate started changing and everything started trying to balance out, there was a great cloud that made everything colder. And the ice age happened. Right. That's what they... Um, there was this big cloud of gas. Um, I read a book about it and it surrounded the earth. Right. Which made the ice age because even the sun couldn't shine. That well, have, has anybody ever seen the pictures of when there was a big volcano in just one area? It makes the whole area just gray. No sunlight can filter through it. The whole earth was like that, and it made the temperature go down because no sun was shining on it. I have a note on here that says the Ice Age was 20, about 2399 to 1700 B.C. Woo, long time ago. But it was also around the same time of the Tower of Babel. All right, S, we're getting there, guys. As is for the story from God's holy book about a great beast, when he walked the ground shook, behemoth or monster was this animal's name. Our word dinosaur means almost the same. So why didn't, why doesn't the Bible say dinosaur? Does anybody know? Look, this is my guide to dinosaurs by the Institute of Creation Research. And dinosaurs beginning, why study them? What is a dinosaur? It was first the group Dinosauria was first used by Sir Richard Owen in 1841, and he published the term in 1842. When was the Bible written and published? 1621. So the reason the word dinosaur is not in the King James Bible, which is what we read and use only, is because dinosaur hadn't been termed. They called them other things like behemoth. And he did, the Bible describes them. They sound like fire-breathing dragons. Hmm. T is for tales that we often hear about terrible dragons that made men fear. Maybe these tales, Bill should be reading this, could actually be stories of dinosaurs men used to see. Now, look at, oh, medium well, please. He's going to cook that dinosaur up. Do you think people were hungry after they got off the ark and started having families? Yeah, and guess what? After the ark is when people started eating animals. 
And so if they were really hungry and you caught a big old dinosaur, was your tribe going to eat for a long time? Yep. Yeah. And I'm sure they ate it. I don't think they were sport hunters that went and killed all the dinosaurs to make them go into an extinction. I don't know. But I can tell you this. People needed to eat. And dinosaurs were big. And if you're really big, most of the time, you don't move as quickly as somebody little. If we went outside, not that Bill's a dinosaur, but if we went outside and raced Bill and Nehemiah, who do we think might win? Bill. Really? That's not my theory. Because he's way older. Okay. He is older. But if what they're saying is sometimes bigger win? things Granny. move slower. Who would win? You or Granny. Granny's older. That's because Granny is way older. Right, but what I'm saying, Lori, and my point is this, is that probably Nehemiah would win because he's younger, yes, but because he's smaller and quicker. So he's little. He would beat me, not just Bill. He would definitely beat Netta, although I remember me. when Netta and Jose were both younger, before they had babies, before they got married, and they'd race along this road, and sometimes Netta would win, and sometimes Jose would win. Who do you think would win today? Probably Jose. Jose. All right, here we go. U is for understand, which we need want to do. The Bible explains the dinosaurs for you. It also tells how from sin to be saved by trusting in Jesus who rose from the grave. Isn't that a sweet picture? All right, what are they doing, Nehemiah? Praying. They are praying. What are, where are they kneeling, Nehemiah? Sun. Sun. There is a sun next to what? Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Next to the cross. That's right. All right. V. V is for very much we can, how very much we can say we should all read the Bible each day. Dinosaurs we've proven are no mystery. God's word teaches us true history. So what they're saying is this, that dinosaurs were created with us. They lived. Nobody was eating them because we didn't eat them. Um, animals until after the ark and the flood. When we got off the ark, there weren't as many. And then people began probably eating them. Or it was really cold. Maybe they're because they were probably, they are reptiles. They were cold blooded, which means that they needed more sun. They needed more ability to heat. Because you see, where, where do you see lizards when it's sunny? Besides running around away from Nala. They'll sun. Like an alligator comes up and gets on the sun. Turtles get in the sun. They're all cold-blooded. They have to have heat. So it's a possibility that some of them also died because it was just a lot colder then. All right, here we go. W is for watchfulness, which we should all learn. Since someday Jesus, our Lord, will return, he's going to judge this world once again, but this time by fire instead of, instead of by rain again. Okay, let me read that right. W is for watchfulness, which we should all learn. Since someday Jesus, our Lord, will return. Lori, sit back. Um, he's going to judge this world once again, but by this time by fire instead of by rain. Okay, so, and this says the bang is definitely coming. So what he's talking about is how the Lord is going to come get us, and then the tribulation will happen, and then the earth is going to be burned up by fire. Boom. Boom. All right. X is in excited, which Christians should be. One day we will know that heaven will see. There will be no more dying or crying or pain. For God our creator forever will reign. I said, I can't wait to get to heaven. That dinosaur is really old. <laughs> That's the idea. Why is for years? How long it could be? What time are we at, guys? Since God, speaking yeah, of years. You're good. Okay. Since God made the world for you and for me, probably only 6,000 or so, say many good scientists, they ought to know. So I'm going to give you a trick. If you want to really believe the Bible, when you go somewhere, and there's going to be museums, and there's going to be dinosaur world, and there'll be places that you go that says, or books you read that say, the earth is millions and billions of years old. Just do this, just in your mind. You don't have to make a big statement. You don't have to go and complain to the museum owner. You just go and say in your mind, they mean 6,000. The earth is about 6,000 and they just don't understand. They don't know the truth. And maybe one day the Lord will open the door so I can tell them 
but I don't have to make a big deal. I can just speak the word of God and speak the truth in love. I don't have to go and picket their museum and tell them they're wrong. But I also don't always have to go to them. I can go to Bible ones, which the Institute um, or the uh, Answers in Genesis has the ark now. Do you know what? I would love to go there. And it they recreated an ark. Yes. Um, I was thinking if they said that, I would say, are you there? Were you there? And that's a real big question because they speak, the scientists that say it's millions of years really do act like they 100% know, except they don't, it is their theory. The only way you can know is if you were there. Who was there? Who was there? Were you there? I was not there. Who was there? Who was there? Who was there? Who was there? God was there. And do we believe God? Yes. yes. Can we yes. trust him? He right. His word. his word. When he was there, he had somebody write it down and say what was happening. So guess what? It was a um, fact by fact account. So guess what? Science should take that. They don't always. All right. Z. Z is for zeal, which people should see as we tell the truth about history. The dinosaurs certainly have not evolved. Through God's holy word, the puzzle is solved. God said, a frog is a frog is a frog. And that little frog says, no, I'm a frogosaurus. He changed his name. His name is Frogosaurus. And that's it. And this says, draw your favorite dinosaur here. I'll have to get you guys to do that later. All right. So what I'm saying about this is that dinosaurs can be very confusing. Because it seems like they could only happen millions of years ago. Yes, Nehemiah. I know what's kind of dinosaur. Oh, you're going to tell me, but I want you to wait for just a minute because I'm going to ask you about something. I want to find a picture. Do you know that most scientists say that there were no men that lived with dinosaurs? Did you know it? Huh. That's funny. Because they say that um, the cavemen um, live about... Uh, it's weird... Right. Probably people lived. Right. Probably people lived in caves after the ice age because there just it, it was cold and it was harder to live. So that's why the ice age made a lot of that caveman kind of stuff. And people got. Do you guys know what rickets are? Where you don't have enough vitamin C and you don't have enough citrus fruit, maybe they weren't growing it, so it made their bones look weird and humped up over. And so it's very explainable why some of the bones they find that are Ice Age era look like Neanderthals or things that absolutely just were people with disease, which is kind of sad. But I want to tell you this: there are people and right people who are definite peoples of history. They might stop. Well, they don't grow. I mean, they don't grow citrus. Maryland, Some places it's don't. Too it's too cold. The cold places in you north, can't. There's not a lot of citrus. Trees. You don't see a lot of orange trees in Maine just because it's not going to work. It right. Will not. Right. And you needed a warmer climate. climate. That's why most of the citrus is down down here because it's very cold. Thank you. So the word long before the word dinosaur existed, people called the large land reptiles a variety of names: monsters, serpents, dragons. Legends of dragons are everywhere. Has anybody ever heard beside the game and beside the app Marco Polo? Yeah. He was actually an explorer that went all over the world from 1254 to 1324. And he talked about how the Chinese had pet dragons in the 1300s. Pet dragons. Those were dinosaurs. Right. And then Alexander the Great saw a hissing dragon in a cave after he and his armies invaded India in 326 B.C. He saw a dinosaur. It's written down. There are also places that you can find pictures where people have driven, drawn. Look at that. This is after the ark. This is when people were doing cave. And um, this is, I guess, a, that's the Chinese zodiac. This is a, um, a Narmer palette, an ancient Egyptian pl um, plaque. And they had, what does that look like? Can you guys see? It looks. Does it look like a dinosaur? It, too, it, looks, it's like two it looks like two brachiosaurs. Right, it has normal other animals on there. So it's not just saying, oh, these are, are made up animals. No, it has dinosaurs in it. 
Well, that sounds like they had seen them. Then let's see, here's a Cambodian Stegosaurus carving on a Cambodian from Cambodia temple wall. They probably saw it. What do you think? I know, I'm boring you, right, Bonnie? Here we go. One other thing I'm going to tell you, and then I'm going to let it go. I wanted to see the place where you can see here. Look, the Paluxy River Tracks is famous for its dinosaur tracks. Do you see? Dinosaur tracks, and they just walked on it. And I was hoping that this had um, a picture of the dinosaur tracks, and there was a footprint. There is a picture of that. And I'm sure that Sister Ashley is going to find that for me for tonight, and she'll bring it to show us, show us. There are actual pictures of dinosaur tracks and men's footprints that were made at the same time and fossilized. Neat, huh? Neat. So what does that say? That says men lived with dinosaurs for a while, and then either they didn't make it through the Ice Age. Is it time? Okay, five minutes. Okay, we've got five minutes. It, either they didn't make it through the Ice Age because they were um, reptiles that slowed them down, people started eating them, um, maybe they had diseases that we didn't know about. But basically, just like the dodo bird, they did go extinct. But we did, we think, like Bill said, we believe maybe there's a plesiosaur that's nessie in the, um, in the Loch Ness. And then sometimes when people talk about Bigfoot, I wonder if that's just maybe something that's escaped and like it's people getting to be able to see it. Maybe there's some still hairy dinosaurs well, around. We know very little about what's in our oceans. We don't. We don't. You're we right. We know more about other planets, but it seems like almost, you know, there's in the last 10 years, there's been several instances, we had no idea something existed until it just happened to swim in front of a camera. You're right. You're right. We though. had no idea about it. Right. So, um, there, I was trying to see if they had the one with the, but I don't see it still. But if you want to look at this book, you can. Lots of neat pictures. Um, oh, look, this is, let's see, this is the dinosaur buried with a fish. So here's a dinosaur, and there's a fish. That fish looks just like a fish from today. That dinosaur looks like a dinosaur. Now, one question people have had is, didn't they turn into birds? No, that's impossible. They didn't. But people are trying to say that now, and a lot of times scientists draw what they want to believe and what they want to see. That's not really science. That's fiction. But they still will draw feathers. I have an example, and then I'm going to let you guys talk, that somebody said, oh, look, they found the first fossil with feathers. And look, and they drew it, and it's a bird. It's a chicken egg. I mean, you've seen it. It's in a chicken. And so... Tammy, Sister Tammy saw it, and she's like, look at this. And I'm like, what did it really look like? Because that's the artist's rendering. So she goes down, scrolls down. It's this big glob of nothing. But they put a rendering, oh, this is what it looked like with feathers. So scientists sometimes draw what they think will fit in to their theory. But it's not true. And that's not really science. Science is proving something. Yes? Um, when you were talking about the man's footprints, um, the evolutionists, actually make up a reason for that. They say that the chimpanzees made that and they were right next to the dinosaurs and then a right. and we were evolved. Mm -hmm. They evolved as the people. Right. Do I do believe that God can make animals that are similar, but I believe that he and, and I was thought I found it but I didn't. So one day I'll find that picture. And here's dinosaur kinds. Nehemiah you were gonna tell us your favorite dinosaur. What's your favorite dinosaur? What is it? Uh a T Rex. T-Rex. Those were very real. There's a skull right? And there's a skull. That's an Allosaurus, but this is one, isn't it? Nope, that's an Allosaurus. Hold on. Let me find it. Well, there's a picture of a T-Rex. Now, did we have cameras back then? No, we just guessed. However, what's happening is they are finding living tissue. How could living tissue be billions of years old or millions of years old? That's so far. I just think it would be dust. And that's what's happening is they're finding some some tissue that's still left and that could happen in thousands of years or hundreds of years even if they die so just think about that all right hold on i'm trying to find a t-rex if we can find a real t-rex um skeleton hold on let's see nope 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 can you guys see it Oh, back bunches of dinosaurs. I thought I saw it. Maybe an Allosaurus looked like a T-Rex, and maybe that was his name. Yeah, they're very similar. Oh, they're very similar. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. That looks like him. 
The tyrant lizard. That's your favorite, huh? All right. He's scary. What However, that? what was what was his downfall? His little teeny arms. Yes. But also, they say that um, even though he had teeny tiny arms, they were very strong. They were strong. If he could get to you, they were going to be strong. All right. Anything oh. else? Oh, yes. Um, I had another thing. Quickly, because we're out of time. And it's gone. All right. It, let's see. I was going to teach you this. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Everybody say that. In the beginning, God, God created, created the heaven and the earth. Not heavens. Heaven. The heaven and the earth. All right. Thank you. We'll see you at church.